What'd you say, Era? You ready for that? Uh, yeah, audio? yeah, yeah. Okay, everybody want to mute up for this audio? I just want to say something really quick, and I'm gonna try not to give out my identity. Um, we were all there when okay. all this happened. I just Jesus left the meeting. First of all, in order to be around Jazz Prince, you have to be searched. None of us had guns, but Jazz, but Jazz people had guns. Okay. All of this about this was over a dice game. This shit started in Fifth Ward around 9.30, 10 last night. So this had nothing to do with no damn dice game, with no money situation or anything like that. And the only reason why I'm not going to great details because I live in Houston and the Prince family knows. But all of this shit that they're saying about, oh, well, this was a sacrifice. No, this was a argument between two camps and it went even between two camps because Takeoff and Quavo was basically trying to be the mediator between the people who were arguing. Oh, so, shit. And so everybody's saying, oh, well, this is Quavo. Fault. Quavo had nothing to do with the shit y'all talking about, bro. Y'all was not there when this happened. It, it, it had nothing to do with that. So, did, did they tell you he passed the fuck out? Did they tell you we had to help him to the fucking car? Did they tell you that? Like, nobody is, is, is really talking about the real that's going on. But I'm going to tell you this, and I'll leave it at that. The only people who had firearms that night was the camp who protect Jazz. That's all I'm going to say. I just want to say. That, that was the end of What that mean? Now, let me tell you what's weird about that. Jazz Prince put in his story, I got a call about what happened. I'm confused. Was you there? What you nigga? He trying to separate himself from the situation. So if the police come, he act like he wasn't there. That's all that is. He was. And that's gonna be dumb as fuck. Cause what in this event? You sure did. Somehow he woke up to this. It's silly ass. Yeah. Footage showing him on the scene at the time of it happening because it was. It did happen like an hour. Hey, bro, ain't no way that shit was an hour and a half after the event was over and all them motherfuckers were still there like that. Park a lot of pin, man, that's a good 30, 45 minutes, my nigga. They said it happened at like, um, it happened at like 2.30. The event was over at 1 o'clock. But was it close? Yeah, they would be shooting dice on some, they would just stay all over there shooting dice. It was, the event was over. Shit, most events don't close until two o'clock. Keep it yeah, on. I mean, yeah, 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 the bar. Yeah, the that bar one o'clock sounds kind of iffy. Yeah, yeah, that's some that's some California shit. That one thirty shit. Yeah, you know. Yeah, because you know our shit close early, nigga. When y'all niggas in the south, nigga, y'all shit be open three o'clock, four, five o'clock. That wasn't a club. That was a bowling. Alley. No, it happened <clears> right outside the bar part of the bowling alley, and on the news. Down there, it said the bar, the bar park was at two. Exactly, two o'clock. Okay, so I get the call one forty-five, two forty-five, three forty-five. So that's three forty-five. I got the call, so that means he been dead by the hour. Just wasn't out. Well, actually, was out because that lady come in the room. That's why I called. Yeah, she come in the room by one forty-five. I called. I talked to P at one fifty-eight. My time. Wow. He didn't want to wait for the airport to open, so he, he just he told him to get the jet ready. <clears throat> so he was. Yeah, that, but what she mean? It started in the fifth war. That, what the fuck she talking about? Yeah, because she didn't elaborate on that shit, but it sounded like not like that, but shit like they was over there probably knocking out some verses or politicking with the community. You feel me? And, you know, he said, he said there's something community. about basketball. You saw that's me where they was basketball at in that car. Earlier. When they was riding that car, that's where they was at in fifth world. Oh. Little party before, or like little get together before the bowl. Oh. And he said something about basketball, playing basketball. So I don't know if they kind of got in, if they had a little game or something. Nah, he said, I don't play like that. The only thing I play is basketball. So I guess the niggas see that in hell of foul. Oh, okay. Like, is that what he said? Like the only thing I play is basketball. That's what he told me. Oh, okay, okay, okay.
One thing she said was valid was that they were the only ones that were strapped up. That sounded about right. Right now. And they do. We're trying to mediate the situation? That that shit happened outside. My bad. You feel me? So if a nigga outside, man, yeah, I could have went to my car and got my shit and came right back to the that. Right right. You feel me? Yeah. Well, that's what a nigga going to do anyway. Easy. Nigga can't wait to, to, to shit let out so I can go get hammered back up. You feel me? <laughs> yep, you right about that. That's the point. Man. You got a point there, my partner. The whole situation is sad, regardless of what they were arguing about. Like, like what I said, like they you didn't. gotta be an extreme hothead. You gotta be a loose ass motherfucker. Yeah, what nothing about shots. that? Yeah. What nothing about that? Nothing about that. Oh, like this shit is like you know. Basically, I'm not about to be arguing. It seemed like he was like, "Let's go," and then I don't know. Yeah, shit sure just went did. left. All I saw was feet, like the feet flying back. Like I don't know if somebody got teed off on or what, but it seemed like um, Quavo was just like, "Okay, we arguing." And then he thought about like, "Man, it's some bullshit. Let's go." You know what I mean? That's how I kind of took it, and then shit just went left. And some niggas not like that probably felt like he was horn. I'm like, man, I ain't about to hear. I ain't got time for you. I seen this shit slow down last night. Like I sent you that shit. Where you can see them yep. niggas getting ready to take off right before that nigga ran up on them. That shit look crazy. What you mean getting ready to take off? Me like fight? Nah, like me? run. They seen the nigga coming. Oh, so they seen the That's nigga reach. That's the last shit I sent you last night. Yeah. You got another angle, T T money? It, yeah, I found some shit on the uh, YouTube or something the nigga was looking at. Cause all I see it saw was really the feet once the shit started kind of being a confrontation but um damn i ain't yeah. gonna lie hell of videos i've seen it was a nigga holding the chuck dog it show take off and uh everybody uh getting ready i mean opposite well take off shit yeah everybody it showed everybody right there getting ready to run nigga when that nigga was walking back that way so was it but it was like last was it confirmed that there was two other victims or is it still just yeah, 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 I heard that too. Nigga that was walking yeah, back, the, that's the nigga that was in the back seat. Jeezy Miyaki. Cause I, the camera angle, the camera angle I saw, it seemed like the person that was holding the camera got hit or something. Like the way the camera kind of, I don't know. Like I'm just, I don't know. I, that's just unfortunate, yeah. for real. In the back seat somewhere. I went to sleep a little early, so you said somebody was in the back seat. Yeah, that's the same dude that was walking back. Well, he talking out in the video. Man, so that like I know I wasn't really. I just heard it. I wasn't really like um, looking at the visuals with academics. Um. But what, was there somebody in like a blue hat or blue shirt or something that had a gun? Yeah, that's what academics was saying. I, I missed that time. shit. That, that was some he good shit. Back back to run that, was, yeah. Yeah, that was some good shit. That that clip you was playing, boy, that shit was some good shit. That nigga act ain't giving no fucks. Well, he said he yeah, really uh, fucked with him. said when he first, before, before he started like out of all of them takeoff was the coolest he was hella cool he didn't deserve this so that's why i'm finna do this that's yeah. like what i said that's the detective say he really fucked with him doing it. he was too primed up doing it. well um uh, let me ask you how come he shouldn't be what, what is that? he's an intelligent dude he's a blogger he kind of detailed with his motions oh Act from the streets, nigga. He's supposed to be quiet. I keep telling y'all the streets ain't the majority no more. Because even the street posers, even the street posers ain't really street. They they they, 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 they got the ways of a civilian, nigga, when it comes down. 
Hey, that nigga was hella deep to that shit down. I just listened to that shit this morning. Sylvester, he was freezing the pictures and everything, showing the person. He was clicking on their Instagram, showing the colors they had. I mean, the, the clothes they had. He yeah, was that going nigga in deep. Be a real he was thing. going in deep. He was finding yeah. bitches' names on things, on posts, and bitches like me, whoopy whoop, whoop in here. He was going to the other bitches' posts to see if they yeah. had bitches. And that nigga was breaking it down, but. Nah, motherfucking good burger, motherfuckers. But, yeah, if, but if, he do, if he doing that, imagine <laughs> what the police doing. That nigga fell asleep. That's what he said. That's a fact, though. Know. It's niggas who get away with a lot of shit, though. He's a yeah. Hey, listen. Even the niggas I thought got away two, three years later. What happened? Man, the motherfuckers. Uh -huh. <laughs> Nigga, now that, that, that's a fact. Now, that's a fact right there, though. That's a fact. Hey, I was watching the uh, Man, the motherfuckers. Shit, I, I just seen a nigga get booked for a murder from 94. Yeah, I was, man, the motherfuckers. Ah, yeah. Years, like, man, the motherfuckers. Yeah, okay. Hey, I was, I was watching a crime show where a nigga killed a uh, woman in a hotel from a, a Tinder date. I don't know if y'all heard about that. They showed that nigga's movement for two days, nigga. When he met the girl, where he met the girl, nigga.